I would say my day would start around 1 a.m. before I go to bed, actually, because I always make a point of uh, checking the news before I go to bed, because I don't want to wake up in the morning to find that the, the world has completely changed. That would be really a nightmare, literally. So I do that, and I end up perhaps uh, responding to emails or doing a, a mini research at home even to be better prepared the next day. But I also have to make sure that I um, am fit every day because, well, of course, if you're a human being, you might miss a program or two because you have a cold or you're not feeling well. But I try not to do that because I think that I have this certain responsibility um, towards the viewers who will be expecting to, to see me on television the next morning. So I go to bed and try and get a good night's sleep. But I have to be up uh, by, uh, let's say, 5.30 or 6. I live with my family and my, mo my mother would always be there over breakfast. So rather than just uh, looking at my screens or tablets or television or the paper, I try to, to talk to her and ask uh, what the day is going to be uh, for her. Um, and, and the weather, um, and what she thought was the interesting piece of story on the, new, on the television. And then I uh, dash off to work, uh, and at around um, 8 o'clock, the meeting already starts to select the, the stories and the news that we might be reporting in the segment that I'm presenting. I strongly feel that you really have to know the substance of the news that uh, you are reporting. So I try to be um, comfortable as possible as to um, the level of understanding that I have regarding the stories that I will be reporting. And also I put together uh, interview features as well. Last week the, the big interview was my interview to Mr. Bill Gates. We are in the midst of editing the story at the moment so um, I look forward to airing that story. Once I'm off air, I always make a point of uh, going out and meet people or attend study groups or gather information myself because I did not start out to be a, a presenter or a news personality. I regard myself as a journalist or commentator or reporter and I much prefer to be in the field. And that field doesn't necessarily have to be somewhere in Africa or Asia. My field that I'm reporting about can be in Tokyo or in Japan. So, so that, that is a typical day.